Hey guys, Shaver 1000 here. Today, behind me, we have a little refrigerator. It's 12 volt. Um, it was her dad's, it was up in the attic. We don't know if he had it in a boat or a camper, but it's a 12 volt system. So, I got this to plug into it. I've got my multimeter with the temperature reading, it's temperature sending unit on it, so we're going to check it out. And we're going to see if this thing works. So stick around and join me in the fun. Okay guys, here's, here's that refrigerator. I'll open it up. Okay, it's got a tray here. It's a drip tray will come out and it's got a little supposed to have a little tube on it now I do have some rubber hose I can make work if this thing works but see so there's a hole there so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a piece of tape over that or stuff a rag in it just to test it to see if it works and if it does then we'll fix it like it's supposed to be but I'll show you how these work a fan up in here on this it's called a heat sink okay now to explain to you guys what a heat sink does how these work this is a heat sink how these work is they don't actually cool this little ice box refrigerator or whatever you want to call it cooler it doesn't actually cool it down what it does is take the heat that's inside out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into here, into here, and then I can plug this into my extension cord, and we're going to check and see if the fan's running. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on the stand. Go ahead and open this up. Fairly decent shape, so hopefully it does work. Now, I don't know if that goes there. Or up here kind of fits tight up there so I'm guessing it goes down here and that's probably supposed to have a rack in it but see this thing's kind of long so you see it doesn't look like it would catch much there but there we go we'll just put it like that now I'm gonna put you on the stand and we're going to watch this fan when I plug it in. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead. We're going to plug. I'll raise you up a little bit there. We're going to plug this cord from the refrigerator into that. And then we're going to plug this into here. What the hell? Maybe this one. No, I hear something that doesn't doesn't seem like it's running. There may be a fuse up in here. There is a fuse here. I believe. Maybe not. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to have to check this out and see if it's getting power out of here. That's me turning it from the back. Okay. I don't see a green light on here, and I should. So, I think this is working. It is a little rusty, but I know it worked on the... I got a cooler outside. I know it worked on that cooler. That light should be lit up. So, I'm going to take this apart. See if there's a fuse in here or something. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, guys. So, I tested this. It's supposed to be 12-volt output. 
Um, it's a Coleman, but it's only putting out 10 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this onto my battery. This is the ground, the negative, and this is the positive. I'm going to touch it on my battery and run this across, run this across to the um, to the negative, and we'll see if that's turning. And if it turns, then we'll go ahead and do something a little more permanent. So let's see. Keep an eye on that fan, and let's see what happens. All right, it's working, so that thing's quiet too. I'll have to shut this fan off here in a minute. So let me go ahead and make something more permanent on this, on this end, so we can put on the battery because I still can't find my actual one I use. So anyway, let's find something more permanent. We'll plug this in and then we'll run this down inside here. We'll run it down the bottom. We'll cover that hole in the back then we're going to let it run a while and see what the temperature gets down to. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just run this in through the hole down there at the back and then put some um, put a rag around it or something. So let me get uh, let me get this hooked up then we're going to go from there. Okay guys I found my little deal so we're gonna plug this in and I'm gonna hook it up the battery let's see if that fan runs yep all right cool now let me shut this real fan off and I mean you hear the actual refrigerator behind us running probably okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down in that hole and put a rag around it. We'll take an initial reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off for now. And we'll see what it is inside there. And then we'll give it an hour or so. And then we'll um, check it again and see if it's cooling down. Okay, so this is what I've done. We've got our temperature here. Put it on. The... This is in Fahrenheit, guys. So as you can see, and I've got it cracked, it's 86.8 degrees in there. Let's go ahead and close it. All right. And I've got this shoved into this hole and I've just got a rag here, so it's not gonna be real efficient. But now I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a couple minutes maybe 10-15 minutes to for that to settle its temperature and then we'll kick it on and then we'll take a reading after about say an hour or so so hang tight and we'll let it do its thing okay guys this is what we got it's been about 15 minutes <coughs> it's teetering between 88 and 89 and it's staying right in that area so that's what we're looking at so now we're going to go ahead we're going to plug this in. i seen the little spark. The light's on. I don't want to open it up because it'll mess with our reading. The fan is running. All right. So I'm going to come back in an hour. I'm going to go take that EVAP solenoid off my niece's truck. She'll be out here shortly. <coughs> that way it'll already be off. And by the time we get get that taken care of, we'll see what this is going to be down to. So sit tight, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's been about an hour. It's jumping between 61 and 62. Sometimes it gets down to 60, but it's still hot out here. It's hot in this garage. It was The temperature was climbing, and I was like, what the hell? It was over 100 degrees. I had that plugged in wrong. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this all night long and see how well it does. And I'll keep coming out 
about every hour if I don't forget about every hour and we're gonna see what it gets down to so stay tuned let's see what happens here okay guys I'll tell you what it's been 24 hours let's take a look at this and it's only got down to 71 degrees now I've got to looking at this thing I don't think it's supposed to have that heat sink in it. I think it's just supposed to have ice. Because see, this looks like they marked it. Like they was going to put the heat sink there. Like they were going to put this on top and decided to put it back there. I think this is this is supposed to have. Because when I got to looking at that, I was like, man. See, there's our, our probe. This goes up here. I'm guessing it would have went. here maybe but anyway and that'll fit there just fine so I'm thinking this was for ice you just put ice in here don't get me wrong I mean you can feel some cold air there it's still running I mean that's cold it's just not going to be cold enough I mean I imagine if you had it in a camper or possibly she thought she might have had it for, she thought he might have had it for his boat if you left it plugged in you know for a week I'm sure it would cool down but once you start opening this thing up now that cooler we got a cooler out there it does it works the same way it's got a little heat sink in it now I left a pop in there all weekend one one weekend um, I used a Saturday and Monday that pop was starting to freeze and it's just got something like that in it so um maybe if you put two in but i wouldn't do that i would say you know i mean it's just i would say this was you put ice in here and that's what the drain was for that's what i would say let's see what it went down to just having it open that long because i thought we could use it for camp see it jumped up almost 10 degrees you might as well say 10 degrees nine degrees whatever and uh just that little bit of time and it'll take forever for that to cool down so you know we had it colder but uh it's just just not made for that um yeah i'm i'm guessing it just uh that's what somebody's done put it in there but like i said i thought well hell we'll use it for camping and now uh, i don't think so because i think if we do end up using it, I'll just use it like a cooler. I'll just put ice in it, you know. Set it out back, you know, like if we're camping or whatever out back in the backyard, that'd be all right. But I'm not going to lug it around if I, if I still got to put ice in it. Hell, I got that cooler out back there, that, or out front there, that works really well. It keeps things really cold. And then I've got that big thing up there, which I thought about making them. And one of those air conditioners you see everybody doing out of that thing so we we've got coolers if we you know so there you go guys that's the deal on that thing so uh didn't work out that great because 70 degrees is not that cold to be you know if you, if you take a drink of beer or soda or anything that, that's 70 degrees it's not that cold <laughs> especially if it's a beer i like my beer around 34 to 36 degrees you know <laughs> right before it freezes all right guys We'll see you soon. Have a great week. Shea Bear, the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.